the time and in terms of the value supplement edit so this is the dialog for the baluster name is, the reg is a regular baluster the family will change to the one that we just imported the base will be the host or sorry the base will be the, the host for now we'll have to change this eventually and the top will be six inches of the top rail because it's six inches higher than the top rail based on this drawing here so the top offset six inches and the distance from pre previous will be five feet so which means that each post will repeat itself five feet apart all right don't worry about this you'll change this eventually actually no i want let's press, press apply and see what happens first and then we'll make the changes so it deals with that change let's change all the middle ones but we need to change the end and the beginning so go back into edit type the foot value placement and we need to make changes to the start as well as the end and in the center for now we're just doing one straight run and we're not going to be bending if we need to bend then we'll have a corner post but for now we'll do none and uh, apply okay okay but they have the same as here so the top offset we need to change to six inches as well apply okay So, um, the only reason why this is here because it's not a nice even number that but that's fine this could always change eventually um, actually what we could do is we could justify by spreading the pattern to fill let's see what that does yes so we get a nice even number of post in the middle if you notice that the post runs through the end and the beginning and if you take a measurement it's probably about six inches so going back into the edit type value placement here where the space is we need to offset it negative six inches and for the end positive six inches apply okay apply okay so that's so now see it butts right to the end of the post same thing on this side um, there's no setting that takes care of these intermediate ones not that I know of if I if it does please let me know in the comments to create these bottom rails all right so now we have to create the remain not the remaining but the other three circular half inch and a half circular rails right below this top rail so select the railing at the type go into real structure so we need three so just press insert three times and based on the math now this is three foot six from the top so it's four inches four, four inches from each other here so that's what we're going to do so three foot six so equal three foot six is 42 inches minus four inches it's three foot two do the same thing here three foot six well three foot two is 36 plus two to the eight inches plus oops sorry minus four inches is two foot ten and uh, the last one is equal to two foot ten which is 34 inches minus minus four inches is two foot six now 
I will change the material, but I don't want this video to be too long. So you can change the material to some type of aluminum, either silver, black, white, whatever you, you have. So apply. Okay. Apply. Okay. So, so far, so good. Let me bring up a 3D view. So now we have to create the bottom. Now, you see, I, I made an error. I changed, I, I selected the wrong profile. So in the real structure, they have the profile as default. Let's pick circular, circular, and circular. Apply, okay, apply, okay. That's what we were looking for. Um, let's let's add a boundary this floor. Press OK. Right. A little shadow in there. Nice. Looks good so far. Um, let's change. Got a little smooth lines. Apply. Okay. <coughs> now, now we have to do the bottom here. Now, if you notice that these reels are, are driven by a profile, the same thing could be said for the bottom piece. So, let's look in here to see what profiles we have. So, if you go under profile in the family, in the project browser, you go to profiles. Instead of creating anything, you can look at a rectangular handrail. Now, they have two by two, two by three, but what we need is a uh, eight by eight by twenty four. So actually, um, let's create our own because I need to see how this family was done. So you're going to edit the family, the profile, using the visibility graphics, which is VV or VG. Make sure the annotation is set up where the dimensions and the reference plane is is visible. Let's change this to something I can see. So they have it at the bottom. I would prefer it to be to the top. So let's just remove constraints. Exit this. That is fine. Snap this to this, and uh, let's change the width. Let's delete these these two um, family types. Change this to um, eight by twenty-four. The height will be twenty-four inches. And the width will be eight inches. Apply, okay. Let's select by pressing tab, select the reference plane, select the top, and change this diameter, this dimension tab parameter, which is uh, height two feet. And let's save it as a new name. See my family, and we'll say call it profile. Um, uh, rectangular um, block options one. Okay, save, and let's load this into all. Project. So now we're going to create the bottom piece by edit, go into real structure, insert. Now this will be at the bottom, and we will now include this one that we just created profile rectangular block A by 24. Apply. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now if you notice that this here <coughs> has to change. So 
see this this setup here all, all the posts and them all the posts went up to the top of the bar so let's edit this type and then sorry in the baluster placement for the host we want the host to be uh, negative two feet negative two feet apply let's see what what that does so apply right so it went below the floor which is the host negative two feet and we could keep it there to take whatever foundation you want to do but so I keep going to the wrong thing let's put it uh, negative six inches negative six inches apply okay apply right let's do the same thing for the intermediate which are these so there'll be holes and this will be also negative six inches and apply okay apply okay so let's look at this in 3d so this will take up the foundation once you put the the foot in sorry and this is basically almost done all we have to do now is probably just apply materials i think i have some time let's do that quickly um so in the project browser for the where's my reeling reeling uh, not reeling sorry is it really baluster post with cap let's type properties and let's change the cap material i want this to be uh white so i'll just check some it could be anything white i just for um visual representation i just want to um use the gypsum more board and for the post material probably um, create a new material we will call it um, zero 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 oops post material post material Right, so I go to appearance and I replace this asset. I'm looking for some type of um, stone, I guess. Stone. Now you could use any material that you think that is desirable to your design. Um, I guess what looks good. Uh, this mixed tiles looks good, I guess. Um, Let's put them in. Yeah, this should be okay. And um, apply. Okay. I'm gonna copy this because I'm gonna use it. Um, I'm gonna use it for the bottom wall. So, uh, with that being said, select the railing. And um, <clears throat> and. Uh, the baluster placement that should be okay and the real structure the bottom rail I want it to be that and these here I would like it to be some type of aluminum material so look at it we already have aluminum <coughs> here so apply Okay, apply, okay, apply, okay. Let's see how this looks realistic. Alright, um, so in, so 
so that we almost we're actually done this is the actual this is the end of my lesson um, it has been kind of long this was kind of long so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have to break this up into two parts Right, so this is how it looks. Um, generally, as I said, you could change the material, so whatever you need to do, but you get the general idea. Alright, so hit the like, like button, subscribe, and I appreciate your feedback. Bye.